Hello, I'm ABX Toy Cam. Welcome back to another video. Today I have another build inspiration thing for you all, and today's one's gonna be focused on multiplayer builds. Because the thing about Minecraft is it is a massively different game when you play it with friends to when you play it by yourself. So today I'm gonna be showing you five builds that will really improve your server slash multiplayer experience for Minecraft in general that hopefully you do all enjoy. So if you do, please do like the video and let me know because it helps out the channel a lot and lets me know you do like it and we'll see more stuff like this. But yeah, let's get straight into this one, shall we? Let's start by talking about one of the first builds that you need if you have a server slash multiplayer game and it's not a llama slash ocelot horse thing and it's also not a hot tub it is instead a buying slash sell place so this is something i recommend if you want to have an economy in your world because basically to have an economy you have to trade the goods so for instance uh here's a really basic example what i've done is i've made myself a little market stool that's called the sell uh, market stool and then we've got one on the other side that's the buy market stool so basically the idea behind these two places is that everyone who joins your world whether they're online right now or whether they just join and leave uh can place the offers here and they can wait for people to contact them so you can see uh if if, if you wanted to buy, uh, you know, I want to I sell some oak wood, for instance. If anyone wants to buy it, they just have to contact me because they know my gamer tag is Toy Cat. Um, if they wanted to buy my dragon egg, uh, they just have to contact me. My gamer tag is Fake Cat in this uh, situation. And basically, yeah, you get the point. You can have a sell hut where people can try and sell stuff for goods, or you can do the opposite where you can have a buy hut where people make offers for stuff. And then if you have stuff to sell, you come here instead. So if I have diamonds to sell and I really want emeralds because that's the currency we're using, that's something you can do there. If I wanted to buy gravel, that would be a joke, of course, but still, that's something I could do entirely by using these little huts right here. So, uh, again, you can do this in any form of fashion. I'd recommend either having these, though, at spawn, where everyone can access them the first time they come into the world, or have it near a village, because, you know, villages kind of make sense as the, uh, the, you know, the hub for trading stuff. But, yeah, it's something I de definitely recommend you have doing, because it means that you can actually interact with other people without having to go for a whole conversation about what they're selling and stuff. Instead, you can make one centralized place where you all go to sell or where you all go to buy, and economies can be a pretty cool thing you do on servers. I'd recommend checking out my what uh, currency to use video before you uh, actually do that. But, yeah, basically, don't use emeralds. Use something else is the first tip I'll say for that. So with that said, yeah, the first uh, you know build you need in a server slash multiplayer game, it's got to be a buying and selling place uh, because it just makes things a lot better and it means you can actually interact with each other in a better way. Uh, speaking of interacting with each other, here's a way you can do it in a not so positive way because you might decide that, you know what, there's a guy on your server you really don't like and I'd like a way to take him out, but it's against the rules to attack him. So what you need to do is you need to, uh, you know, basically make it so there is an arena where you can enable PvP, uh, you know, at will to make it so that you can fight to the death. So here you can see uh, we both put all of our stuff inside these chests. I mean, that's a really weird inventory in there. But yeah, we, put, we both put all our stuff inside the chest. We go into the arena and we fight to the death. So you can see lots of people can actually watch it. It's like a gladiatorial style arena. And yeah, the cool thing about the idea of this is no one can leave until one of the two people uh, you know, actually uh, kills the other person. And it's a good way to settle disputes. You can also make it just a fun uh, match where it's like, oh yeah, what we're going to do is uh, we'll make it so you know we just fight for each other and make it like a fun PvP tournament. You can do all this cool stuff in arena. Plus, arenas are pretty awesome things to build. I really, really enjoy building this, maybe like two years ago now, and I think it's pretty cool to build yourself an arena. So, yeah, arena's a cool idea, even if you don't have things you need to uh, settle, but if there's a guy you've always wanted to kill, maybe make a PvP-enabled arena and uh, do that by uh, setting this whole thing up like this. So, yeah, that's the uh, the second little build that you can actually make in, in the Minecraft. You can uh, make it so, uh, you know, you have a place to fight each other, which you're going to need, because, you know, after all those uh, trading and all that cooperation, you need to have some way to vent the, the lack of that. So, let's move on to the third uh, thing you're going to want to do here, which is actually again it's kind of a console specific one on the pc it's not such a big deal but basically it's to do with never portal so never portal linking is such a bizarre thing and it basically means that if you you know if, if there's too many netports in your world you'll really have problems linking them up together and you'll start going into other people's houses and it will be a big mess so what you should do on your server is say to people really you shouldn't make your own portals instead we'll set up our own portals and we'll make them in designated points so everyone can go to there when you need to get the never and that way you can set them up so they link just right so for instance here you can see i've got a never portal just inside this house and this can be like the, you know, like one of the various portals we have in the world to make it so you can one, transport across it really easily because someone's done the groundwork, but two, it means that you don't have to deal with all the other mess. And yeah, I think in general, when it comes to the console in particular, you really need to make it so your never portals aren't owned by anyone, but are owned by everyone because otherwise you get a whole kind of mess. Or you can make everyone just do their own thing and have the mess. Entirely your choice right there, but yeah, this is this. I don't recommend uh, necessarily having the rainbow house. I mean, I think it's a cool idea because that, that's the color of the rainbow, but again, that's just something you can do right there. So, third little thing you might want for a multiplayer game is um, a rainbow house with a never portal inside or maybe skip the uh, rainbow house bit. but yeah let's move on to the fourth build here which is actually to do with your spawn so this is something I see so many people make the mistake of like I've joined so many people's games and they just don't have any food near the spawn it's like what am I meant to do here so one thing I'd recommend is having at least uh, you know a decent amount of food and then preferably have some you know like some stone pickaxes or some uh, leather armor or some iron armor or something just have some stuff to let people who come into your world assuming it's not too many people uh, get started because if you just 
make them run out into the world. They don't have much fun. They maybe leave your game and maybe you don't have as many friends in the world as a result. So yeah, here I've got a bunch of potatoes that as you can see, we throw them in a furnace or the furnace is about empty, but we throw them in the furnace and then we can cook them. And then boom, you can actually start the game with, you can even make people do it themselves, but you know, make sure they refarm the stuff and then boom, they, they actually have themselves a bunch of food. They can go off, they can cook and they can just focus on playing Minecraft and having fun on the server. So yeah, something I de definitely recommend. If it's survival and you do have like a hunger bar, make sure you give away for people to get that stuff because it's kind of a mess at first. You don't want people to do that in multiplayer necessarily. And that is why the fourth thing you need to do is one, a spawn area, maybe like a locked off spawn area, but two, make sure that there's food there because otherwise people won't have the most fun of time. In fact, I made a whole video talking about things you can build at spawn. So definitely check that out too. I, I promote like two of my own videos in this one. But yeah, instead let's move on to the, fir uh, the final uh, thing that you need for servers, which is really kind of building plots because the thing about, uh, you know, like having any Minecraft world is if you just let people build everywhere, you'll eventually get a big mess where there's just lots of stuff that doesn't make too much sense. Like, look at that zombie over there. No one wants that zombie over here. I mean, I built it by accident and it's bad. But yeah, you get the point, right? The zombie looks pretty bad because, uh, you know, we don't want it there. But what can we do about it? Someone else built it. Don't want to offend them too much. So instead, what we should do is you should make it so that, you know, everyone has their own building plots. There's a few ways you can do this. Uh, the, the classic way is to use fences, like you can see over there. Fence off the places so that way people know where the edges are. But I much prefer to do something a bit more invisible. So for instance, here's me making all the corners with uh, blocks of things. But you can also do it with something as simple as just like snow layers on the ground. So for instance, all of this was one building plot. And as you can see, someone, I, I, I can't tell you exactly who, but someone decided to build something that doesn't look particularly great in my opinion. I'm, I'm just kidding. I love it. But yeah, let's pretend this was a bad build because let, let's be honest, it's beautiful. But yeah, if, if you did pretend this was a bad build and you're like, you know, what? I really don't want this on the server. What do we do about that? Then the pro tip would have to be, oh yeah, what you got to do is you got to make it so every build comes with a self-destruct button. So here's a really handy piece of redstone. As you can see, you, you press the button and it slowly deconstructs itself um, by using uh, a clever little... <laughs> oh wow, that TNT came right at me. But yeah, you can see right there. Boom, now we get rid of it. Uh, probably too much TNT, probably a bit too much problem. But yeah, you can do that with plots and you can make it so that you do get stuff that looks really cool. Like personally, I mean, maybe I'm not allowed to compliment my own stuff here, but I, I think it'd be really cool if you were on a server that looked like this, where you've got like blocks on one side, blocks the other, and then it moves from blocks to the, you know, the building over there, then it moves from that to the big arena. I think you can do that by giving people certain building plots so that people build together, but so that you can also destroy stuff if it doesn't look good. And maybe that's being like a planning committee or something, but anyway, just words and stuff that maybe you might just be inspired by. So hopefully you do decide to build one of these five things. If you do have a multiplayer game, um, I'd always be curious. Again, if you ever build something from one of these build videos, I'd always love to see you tweet it to me at IBXToyCat. Other than that, please do like the video if you did like it, share it if you really liked it, and subscribe if you are new around here. I make videos just like this one every single day on my channel, and if you subscribe, you'll see them daily on your homepage. Uh, we're, just gonna, we're just gonna pretend this was never there, and also, maybe you need to remove that too. But yeah, hope you all enjoyed it, because I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye, everyone. Thank you.